Only on 10 tonight, we are hearing from one of the people taken to the hospital after a carbon monoxide scare in Suffolk. This happened Thursday at a warehouse on Overseas Industrial Boulevard. And we told you Friday that OSHA is investigating. Now, only Chopper 10 showed you this view of emergency crews at the scene. In all, 13 people were treated. 10 on your side's Brandy Cummings sat down with one of those employees tonight. Brandy, what's he saying about what happened? Well, Deanna, 21 year old Rico Odom told me tonight he's just happy to be alive. He also said Thursday was not the first time he's felt sick on the job. Even though he was released from the hospital today, his mom is outraged about what happened. He hadn't even taken off the hospital ID bracelet after being released Saturday, but Rico Odom wanted to talk about what happened Thursday. All I remember is that I was packed on, um, I was taking something out of the box that we had to do, and then I just remember just falling over. Odom says he fainted while working inside this warehouse. He's a temp employee working for the general service company. He's worked there just two months. We make sure it ain't no mold or water damage or damage period to the items. And then we just repack it into a new box and send it back to QVC. He was one of 13 workers who went to the hospital. There, Odom was put in a hyperbaric chamber. It's a sealed high pressure environment similar to this one used to treat carbon monoxide poisoning. Almost everyone that was working that day said they had a whole um, a headache at least about at least about four or five people went home that day before the ambulance and everything had got there so I guess that day it, it was it was just a lot in there that people couldn't deal with it. Odom says the doors were closed in the area of the warehouse where he worked. I'm very upset I really really am and who closes all the doors when you have propane? Riding around everybody. Where's the ventilation? Odom works to take care of his one year old daughter. He says not working will impact what he's able to get her for Christmas. But right now, he's focusing on the positive. I feel kind of blessed because almost every doctor that came in there with me, almost every nurse, they were practically seeing the amount of carbon that my outside that I had in my body that I wasn't supposed to be here. He has to be out of work for at least a week, but his mom told me doctors say there could be permanent brain damage, so she'll have to keep a close eye on him for any signs of that. In the newsroom, Brandy Cummings, 10 on your side. Brandy, thank you. And it could be six months before OSHA determines if the building owner violated any safety protocols. You can count on 10 on your side to follow up with them and let you know if any citations are issued.